Hi, Ian Roberts and Mastering Composition. Uh, you can see my new bookshelves here, really happy with that. Um, so look, we're ending, we're coming to the end of the year. And next week, I want to look at one of the most interesting narratives in Western representational painting. Uh, but this week, I wanted to talk about two of the major themes that we're dealing with in these videos. One is structure and one is drawing, using drawing in advance of painting so that we can explore and understand what's going to happen, most likely, when we begin to paint. So here's this week's image. And I have no idea where I got this photograph. I took it years ago. Um, and then I cropped it a little bit on the right hand side just to make the whole thing a little bit tighter. So structurally, we can see that there's verticals in the foreground, horizontals in the midground. So here's the way I analyzed the structure and then how I did the drawing. So having cropped it, I want to look at this structurally from four standpoints. One, the major verticals happening here, all in the foreground. Two, the major horizontals in the horizon line here that are happening in the midground. And then there's a cypress back there and this, which is acting as the background behind the building. And the fourth thing is I am going to take this cypress and extend it out so that this edge is against that dark of the cypress and that window. And I'm going to be pulling us down to this end of the building. So I've blocked it in roughly and I just want to start laying in some of these big dark masses. And I do this before a big, well, even sort of the smaller paintings for this uh, series. Um, because here's the thing, that I sit here drawing and I enjoy it. And in enjoying the drawing, it allows me to explore what I'm going to be doing in advance of a painting. I just really, I have always liked this scene and I've just never gotten around to painting it. And ooh, today is day. So over the holidays, I'm going to paint this and if it turns out, I'll share it with you. But you see how much of what I'm doing is kind of back and forth in terms of negative spaces and uh, positive space, you know, what's, what's actually there. And in, like in this case, in drawing this shape, the top of the roof becomes, there's no line there, the top of the roof becomes apparent because of the mass, not because of a line. That's what so often happens, I find, with student drawings, is this necessity to create lines around things. I think I'm really looking forward to painting these textured walls. But as I say, the whole thing of being um, excited, or excited is the wrong word, um, just relaxed and enjoying the exploration with a pencil, it will so improve your results as a painter because you can explore things. I mean, most people are just so hungry to get paint, you know, brush to, can brush to canvas, yes. Um, that they bypass this step. And of course, if, as one student said, your drawings, my drawings look like chicken scratches, well, you know, you would say, well, yeah, okay, no wonder I don't like doing it because I'm no good at it. Um, or not that good at it, or not good enough at it, or whatever that would be. But, um, you know, then you say, well, but I just like to paint. But then you get halfway through a painting and you realize, oh God, it didn't work. And I, you know what? I'm not even quite sure why it didn't work. And I don't know what to do. And I'm too far into the painting to, to solve it now. I don't know how to go back and figure it. And I don't know what to do. And, you know, it's a pretty common problem. One of the things you, you, you want to figure out at this stage is where is everything? You know, you don't want to be painting something and then realizing 
you know what, I don't even know where that thing's sitting in space, so no wonder I'm having a problem. I'm just going to put this in flat so it contrasts with all these things here in the foreground, gradate it a little bit, push us up, do the same over here. And there's the finished drawing. And you can see the density of those verticals over on the right-hand side and the cypress in behind the, um, the building to sort of pop it forward. And the more sort of simple shapes on the left-hand side all, I mean, this is my intention anyway when I paint, to pull us over to the right-hand side of the painting. So I'm going to paint that uh, larger, like 30 by 36 or something over the holidays. And I'll let you see it, uh, see how it turned out in the new year. Um, and as they say, next week, I want to do a, a video that I've wanted to do for three or four years. And it just seems to be like the perfect moment to do it. So I hope you're having a great lead up to Christmas. I hope your family and you are safe and well and happy. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.